Hi Mappers! Welcome to this video tutorial for the Modules Helper Modern Warfare version 1 and 2. This program will give you error free scripting for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Mapper. The program needs to be in installed in the game directory. Now first of all you need to fill in your map name. And if you've already worked on it, you can just load your settings. Then you can change whatever you want to change. And your team setup. And then you can create your scripts. As you can see, there are direct links to Radiant, Asset Manager, Effects Editor and Compile Tools. Now what you need to do is make sure you set up the compile tools with the same settings. And we're going to do a 1, 2, 3. One is compile BSP, two is compile reflections and three is fast files. Once you have done that there's a special button under the tab Minimap called Take Picture. This is what we're going to use later on for taking our picture of the Minimap. But until that time, you uh, can use that button to start straight into your game and have your map loaded. As you can see, very simple map, no load screen, no mini map, no effects in place. Very basic. Now we want to put some effects on there. You need to fill in the uh, position. And the position can be found when you start up Radiant. Just load your map up. And I'm going to use a script origin to use it as a measuring tool to determine what the location of the effect that I want to script in, where, where it will be. Actually, we're only going to use the script origin as a measuring tool. So we're not going to leave it in there. We're going to delete it out once we get the numbers from it. Just press N and there you can find the origin with the location. Now in the mod tools helper we can fill in the position, take over those numbers and of course we still need to put in the effect path and the effect name And also what we're going to need later on is the minimap corners. Mon minimap corners are prefab, so you right click, go to mid. Let's see. Right click, go to miscellaneous prefab. And in the prefabs directory you'll find minimap corner. Place two of them in there, covering your playable area, diagonally across from each other. Once you've done that, you can hit save. Now mine was already saved, so now you can choose any of the effects that you want to script in. And we're going to go to the sound tab, 
we've got a few options there. The right column of sounds are all def default sounds. We're gonna you can only choose one of them. You can set the minimum maximum volume for your ambient sound. And you can choose any or all of the other sounds as well if you want to. Also you can click the announcer. So that will be in there. We're just going to compile or scri uh, create my scripts again. And we can go into the... We're going to... We have to build the fast files first. And we can go into our map. You can already see some steam coming off the pipe. You can some get some birds flying. Take no prisoners, comrades. You can see the light on top of the helicopter there, and some insects. And of course you heard the sound. Now in the extras. There's a lot of settings there. You can load and save your map settings. I'm now going to take a picture for the minimap. So I'm going back in. Leave everything as it was. I'm going in as a player. Let's do this. And then you want to hit tilde and put in the command execute space minimap. That will get rid of everything so you can take a clear picture of your map. Then we're going to fill in port slash scr underscore minimap underscore height. And that's going to determine how far up in the sky we are when we want to take our picture. And you can see a white box with this side up. So we're going to change the numbers a little bit. We're going to go a little bit lower. And that means that the box is going to be bigger. And we want to make it as big as possible. Get rid of the console and press F12. So we took a picture. Under extras, we can go straight into any of the directories. We go into the main directory and then screenshots and that's where the screenshots are. Here's a little preview of the picture we just took. And you want to cut out that white box. And you can work on it. Calling it compass map underscore map underscore mp underscore demo or your map name. And then you can work um, that to be a 512, 512 pixels. So actually what you're seeing is inside the white box. I've did just a little bit. Also made a load screen, 1024 by 1024. Also placed it in the raw image folder. Now so I can include the load screen, include the minimap, and I can create my scripts. Now I'm not touching anything. Let the program do its work. It's writing roughly at 25 files, including directories, uh, directories if need be.
And once you've done your minimap and load screen, you can click Create My IWD. This will make your IWD, and you can click Move My Files. That will move your files to the user map directory, so that if you've placed it on a server somewhere, you cannot use the minimap uh, shortcut anymore, by the way. So we have to find another way to go in. First we're going to build fast files again. You can check in the zone directory that your map name's got a, an FF and a load FF. And I can show you it's what it's done to the user map directory. It has created a directory called your map name and it's got the IWD FF and load FF in there. That's what the move my files button does. Now we have to use the multiplayer shortcut. We're going to mods select the custom maps and launch it now going into the console to start up your map map space and then your map name as you can see your load screen is in place and the minimap is also in place All the sounds are working and the effects are working as well. Let's do this. As you see it's pretty accurate. Now this is the uh, standard version. Now for version 2 you're going to get a few things extra, especially for the guys that have been donating. We will give you a few more options. You can, before you start mapping, please create your map file and your map name from the menu here under Extended. And then it will, then it will make a map name for you with build will. Uh, spawn settings in place and this will let you create your world spawn settings straight away um, and also later on you're even able to change them if you put them in by hand the program might damage your map file so that's not advisable to do but if you started off making them like this then the program will recognize it and you will have n you will have no problem changing your world spawn settings at a mouse click. Your vision file is also created. You can change it really quickly there as well. So we're just gonna compile BSP reflections and build. File. files again after that um, build fast file and I'm going to start up the game again through the multiplayer shortcut mods custom maps launch that bring up the console again and start up your map so now you can see your settings are completely changed and that concludes the end of my tutorial. I want to thank Mods Online, Mappers United and Cult Utility for their support and fantastic tutorials. You can download the program at www.3dmappers.com. Hope to see you there. Bye bye. Let's do this.